Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video for you, our school community. A really lovely week in school, including Science Week and dedication for our special Science Day, as well as World Book Day yesterday. It was an amazing day in school. Thank you so much for your support. It really was a wonderful focus on English and especially reading. Um, take a look in this video, just a reminder about a few things this week. Our family survey, the deadline for that is the 18th of March. For you to share your views with us, please do that if you can as well as a reminder about this weekend it's mother's day special ladies day um for whatever that means and holds for you i hope you have a good day um and a lovely time with family as well as a few other bits of information and a big thank you for parents evening again a real success this week have a lovely weekend whatever you get up to and i'll see you all next week take care bye bye this week we have seen World Book Day take place in school with the theme Find Your Reading Superpower. The day was dedicated to reading as well as our love of reading and encouraging reading for pleasure. As you can see from the next few slides, everybody took part in whatever way they felt they could and we had a wonderful day celebrating reading, costumes, books, making costumes in school as well as exploring lots of different texts together as a school too. Take a look at the next few slides to see Thank just you what to we got all of up you to, who have as well as having lunch, fit for a superhero. Thank you for the wonderful responses and great praise for the school. We really do appreciate it, as well as some ideas for how we can move forward in the future. Um, if you haven't got it back to us yet, you've still got time. The closing date for them to be in is Monday the 18th of March, and that's the deadline for the prize draw too. In addition to this, if you haven't yet filled it in, I will have some paper copies um, ready for you on parents' evening, should you want to fill that in, either when you're waiting to see your child's class teacher or when you've finished. But thank you to everybody who has and will complete this survey for us. This Sunday is Mothering Sunday, a really important day for many families, um, a day of celebrating mums and nans and aunties um, and very special ladies in your lives. I do hope you have a wonderful day. I know for many it can be a difficult day. Um, if you've lost a mum or you've lost a nan, um, it can be, can be really difficult. But this is a day to remember influential women in your lives, whoever they are, and whatever they've done for you, it's just to say thank you, even if you say it quietly, um, just to say thank you for all they've done to support you. So this Sunday, have a wonderful Mothering Sunday. And even if you've lost somebody that you saw as a mum or was your mum or a grandma or an auntie that you were really close to or even a sister, um, it's about saying thank you for them and what they did in your lives too. So enjoy this Mothering Sunday and have a very special day, however you choose to remember and celebrate. Hi, it's Miss Wire here. This year's British Science Week will be happening the week beginning the 5th of March. The theme this year is time. We'll be having our annual science fair and having a special day dedicated to our science experiments. I'm really excited about this and I hope you are too. Don't forget Red Nose Day is coming up. We have a comic relief joke competition. Reception to year six, one winner per year group receives a hilarious prize. Winners chosen by Pupil Parliament on Friday the 15th of March 2024. Don't, don't forget to bring in a small donation if you can. Pupil Parliament are having an Easter card competition. Design your own Easter card. Any design and style, no template and decorating. Entries to Miss Wyatt or your pupil parliament ministers by the 19th of March. Excellent prizes to be won, one winner per year group, reception to year six. Winners announced on the 22nd.
We have also talked about Shrove Tuesday and the start of Lent in school, which is linked to the Christian faith. I know lots of you took part in Pancake Day at home um, and the children explored this in school also. To support this and to support our local Black Country Food Bank, we are taking part in the 80 Can Challenge. The next slide just details some of the things you could bring in as part of the 80 Can Challenge. This is an important um, part of what we do here at Rensness, supporting our local community in times when it is hard. Here are just a few ideas um, and the next slide for you to take part in if you can um, at this time. We know it's a difficult time for many at the moment, but if you can, um, just a jar of jam, a can of tin meat, a shower gel, one thing um, you could send in with your children um, to support our local community. The food bank were overwhelmed when we did this at harvest time um, with the amount of food we collected and they are forever grateful. The children will bring a letter home today and should have brought it home with you this evening. But just for you, um, here's just some details of what you can do to support us, if you can, at this time. This year's New Year's resolution is to be healthy habit heroes. As a school, to work together to create healthy habits for our health, our spending and saving of money, to look after our environment and also to help our future world. The next few slides do detail what was talked about with the children um, and take a look at those maybe with your child to see um, what was said in assembly and what they've committed to this year to take part in as we approach 2024 as Healthy Habit Heroes. Here's just a little reminder of how you can contact us. The school office is open um, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. every weekday. Um, you might catch somebody before those times or after those times, but those are the, the times we are definitely open and the office is manned at those times. And of course, the school mobiles. Um, and just a reminder, really, of the school times. You can see them here. Um, just so you know, Breakfast Club is available to you. And there's a slide about that further on in the video this week again but just so you know um gates open at 8 40 um but registration starts at 10 to 9 and school lessons um start at nine o'clock when re registration begins also but early start act activities are linked to the curriculum and a valuable part of your child's learning Promoting good attendance is a key priority for us here at Wren's Nest. As we know, there is a direct link between good attendance and positive outcomes for a child at the end of their educational journey. As you know, we focus on capturing children being in school and we follow up when they aren't. This year, the governors and I have updated our attendance policy and in particular have made reference to any holidays you may take. Take a look in the policy. It is available online. We are asking that holidays are taken in um, holiday time that is planned for the school holidays and for any reason um any day holiday that you do take um it, it's tagged on to a school holiday um so the bulk of the holiday period is within a planned holiday um attendance needs to be good for the remainder of the time your child is at school um if you choose to do this this way it is something we are going to pay particular attention to this year and it's something that we're particularly focused on um, take a look at the policy and of course if you've got any questions don't hesitate to contact me or Tracy Cadman our attendance officer in school. We often say to the children that attendance is a, a life skill one that we carry right the way through our lives as we move from school into college, um, universities, jobs, future lives, appointments, anything that we carry out as an adult. Regular attendance for children means they make the most of their education in improving their life chances in adult life and that's something that we feel is vital that we share with our children that becomes an ingrained life skill for them. 
here are the people who help and promote great attendance. If you ever do need any help or support, we are here to help. Um, sometimes we, we all need a little bit of help in the right direction on occasion. So please, if there's something that you can, we could help with and you feel we could help with, please contact one of us because it might just be by us helping, we can together work together to improve your child's attendance. Lots of you are attending our Early Birds Breakfast Club. It's free to you all from 8.20 till 8.40 every day. Um, if it's something you're interested in, please just come along. You don't need to book. You just turn up and start the day right with a very full tummy and a chat with your friends. What a great way to begin the day. Keeping children safe, as you know, is our priority here at Wren's Nest. And this was also recognised during our Ofsted inspection in March 22, when it was commented on, the school is relentless in keeping children safe. We teach your children the importance of having trusted adults in our lives um, at home and at school. And we talk to them about who those people are in school. Um, our designated safeguarding ladies, Mrs Smith, um, Mrs Hannah Smith um, and then we've got Deputy uh, Designated Safeguarding Lead which is myself, um, Miss Harris, Mrs Cadman, Mrs Vivash and also Mrs Smith too. Um, but every adult at this school is a trusted adult um, that a child can go to should they need somebody to talk to, need any help um, and they're there for them. Um, if you've got any questions about this you know what I'm going to say please come and see us and have a chat with us about it but this is part of us teaching your children how we stay safe both in school and in the wider world Remember, you can still send your class teacher an email with work you've done at home or any questions about your learning that you may have. Here are the email addresses for each of the year groups. Um, just another way you can communicate with us if you need to. As always, please stay connected. Pass on any information you receive to people that you know who don't receive it. Um, and Parent Hub and the school website are the best places to go to access the most up-to-date information. Here are some of the key contact details for you in terms of how you can contact us as a school. We have two mobile telephones um, that are manned um, every day by our family support work, uh, working team. Um, that's available to you. We've got our main school telephone line and also also our email address. This is in addition to our year group email addresses. If you have got any questions, you want to let us know that your child's not in school um, because they're poorly, um, please telephone us or drop us a message um, to let us know why not. Um, any way you want to contact us, this is the way to do it um, and we're here to help. The door is always open for you. We really do value our families and all that they bring to Wren's Nest. However big or small your question, the door will always be open and we're always here for you. Take care.